Okay guys, in this video, I will talk about different aspects of a cantilever beam. Okay, not only that, at the end of this video, I will also discuss how we can substitute this cantilever beam by some modern technique like cable stay. Okay, so before starting videos, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you cannot miss any update from my end. Okay, so let's start. So the very first, what is actually a cantilever beam? A cantilever beam is nothing, uh, a beam which have a fixed end at one end and it is free at other end, okay? And you can apply anywhere within this length, any type of load, okay? So uh, what is the effect of this type of loading on this type of cantilever beam, simply? First effect is shear force diagram. A shear force diagram looks something like this, but I will not discuss a lot about this shear force diagram. I am specially interested about the moment diagram, bending moment diagram. Okay. So, if you have watched my video, you know that for any cantilever beam, the bending moment diagram looks something like this one. Okay. So, here you can see that first of all, at the free end, at the free end, the bending moment is zero, and at the fixed end here, it is maximum. Not only that, it varies linearly. Okay. Now, if I tell you that any bending moment is nothing but a couple, are you agree with me? Yes. So I can uh, actually decompose any bending moment m by some force that is tensile and compressive in nature okay and with some lever arm or the distance okay so here you can see that the tensile force and compressive force if it is constant throughout this beam only we can say that the lever arm is increasing because moment is increasing okay so if moment is increasing then lever arm is also increasing provided the tensile or compressive force is constant okay so now let's say we are using a material that has constant strength of material okay so for example let's consider concrete okay so here in case of concrete, if we have constant strength, we cannot say that we can increase it tensile or compressive capacity. Okay, it has some fixed capacity. What we can do? We can simply increase the lever arm. Okay, to cater this increased bending moment. That is the reason if you watch any cantilever beam that is made of concrete, you can see there that the shape is actually like this this is the free end here you are applying the load okay and here is the fixed end okay so here you can see that as moment is increasing in this direction the depth or the lever arm is increasing because the moment is increasing and we are keeping tension or compressive strength as constant so what we have to do we have to increase the lever arm okay initially this was the lever arm then this was the lever arm and at the fixed end it is this much okay now it has some problem what is the problem let's say we have a very big fixed end beam the length is too much so what we need we need a very huge amount of lever arm at the fixed end okay but practically this is not economical okay so what we have to do we have to think about other alternatives when the span l become too much high what are the alternatives okay first explore the first alternative okay so we are exploring some alternatives of this simple cantilever okay and here you can see that as the span is increasing the depth is also increasing here 
here this was the depth then this was then this was and here the maximum depth okay but it has some limitation because if it has too much length in that case we need a huge depth okay maybe something like this one okay maybe at that time this whole section was needed so the first alternative okay let's first use the paint connection instead of fixed connection uh, here we will use the pin connection and if we use a pin connection here and if we apply any load of course it is not stable because this is pin connection so it will simply rotate so it is not stable so what we have to do to resist this rotation we have to uh, apply some extra support like this one okay so now this rotation is resisted by this external member and of course this load tries to rotate this member clockwise direction so this member is actually in compressive force okay or under compression so here you can see that this is a pin joint and this is the cantilever part here you are applying this moment now it is stable okay but here this member is under compression okay and this type of support system is known as actually braced cantilever okay now you know that uh, this member is under compression okay and you know that compressive uh, load carrying capacity of any member varies uh, with its effective length kl and also you know that if we increase the effective length too much in that case the strength actually decreased if this is the effective length the strength is decreased of the material so here also we have some limitation if we have a very big very long cantilever we cannot provide a very long bracing like this because here we cannot utilize the material properly because due to increased effective length we have actually reduced the strength so material is not being used more efficiently so what is the next alternative well this is the last alternative here what we have to do this is the pin connection this is the free end now we are adding some external cable and let's say you are applying a load like this so what is the effect this cable is actually under the action of tensile force and you know that in tension a material is utilized 100 percent okay not only that here the length may be any length you just need to add the cables continuously okay so we have first eliminated here the problem that was associated with the bearing cross section this problem has been eliminated not only that in the second case we have a problem with the effective length because in that case the member was the braced member was under the action of compressive load okay but here it is under the action of tensile load so we have also eliminated this kl effect on strength okay and the result is nowadays we are not limited to any particular span for constructing any bridges here you can see that i have attached a photograph this is the construction of a cable straight bridge and here you can see that the span is con of constant thickness okay we are simply adding the cable more is the length more is the number of cable we are simply adding the cable okay and the result of this type of construction is this this is the innovation okay so initially we have started with a simple cantilever beam okay 
then we progress to a knee bracing and finally to overcome all the problems associated with this two uh, method we have adapted our cable state bridge got it so that's it